Hello, thank you for stopping by. I am so glad you're here. In this video, we are going to be making an overcoat using a pattern that is simple enough that even a beginner sewist can accomplish it. The first thing that you're going to need for this coat is some outerwear fabric. I am using a heavy olive green cotton twill. I got this from a local fabric store, uh, Vogue Fabrics in Evanston, Illinois. Uh, that's my favorite local fabric store. Now this pattern doesn't call for a lining, but I'm going to be doing one using a very simple method called flat lining. So for my lining, I am using this plaid um, orange and blue rayon. Again, the lining is entirely optional, but I'm going to show you how to add one very simply. Aside from the fabric, the only supplies that you're going to need will be thread, uh, four or five buttons, depending on how many we want to use, and some interfacing. Now, my main fabric is stiff enough that I'm just going to use it as sew-in interfacing, and that will just save me from buying one more thing. Aside from the supplies, you will need a pattern. I am using uh, the form pattern for a long coach jacket. I got this from Etsy. I am not uh, affiliated with form patterns whatsoever, but I think it's just a very well-drafted pattern and it's very simple to put together. This is a digital pattern, so I had to print it and tape it together before I could cut it out to my size. And I also had a little bit of trouble figuring out what my size should be with this pattern. Um, it does give a size chart on the Etsy page, measured in inches, which is what I use, but it doesn't use the standard measurements. Um, normally for a coat, I would go with my chest measurement, which is 40 inches. Uh, this one only gives like um, from armpit to armpit, basically across the front. Uh, I think it is measurement C on the size chart they gave you. So I just based it off measurement C, and I think that measurement also includes the ease. So that's kind of helpful, so you know exactly how big it's going to be. But uh, I went off the measurement C, that would put me at a medium, which is standard. And then I went one size larger because I want this to be loose enough to fit over other outerwear because I'm using it as an overcoat. So this pattern has a back, two front pieces, two sleeves, front facings, uh, neck facing, and a collar. Uh, that's it, that's about as simple as it gets. To get started on this project, I pre-washed my fabric and then ironed it flat. But now let's get started on the actual cutting and construction.
All right, that's it. The coat is finished. It is a lot of work, but it is not a lot of difficult work. The steps are all very simple and straightforward. So hopefully between the pattern instructions and this video, uh, even brand new sewist will be able to tackle their very first coat. I'm very happy with the fit of this coat. Uh, I've been looking for a pattern like this for a while. The drop shoulder is pretty cool. Other than that, it is a very simple, straightforward style. I did add pockets onto it. The pattern doesn't call for them. Uh, and I didn't mention them in this video because I wanted to keep it simple. But if you are feeling adventurous, you can look up how to add welt pockets, uh, hopefully before you start, because it won't be very helpful at the end. Or if you're feeling a little bit less adventurous, you can look up how to add side pockets, or you can try your hand at a patch pocket, though they are deceptively difficult. I'm very happy with this lining. I really like the way the colors contrast, the green and the orange. And I liked that I decided to use the orange thread for the buttonholes and for the buttons on the front so that stands out a little bit. There are a couple of further improvements that I'm gonna make, though they aren't strictly necessary. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna go through and slip stitch down the facing to the lining uh, because it just tends to curl up. Uh, I could give, give it a good ironing and that would probably fix most of that, but I'm going to uh, press it down really well and then slip stitch it uh, just so it uh, lays flat with no visible seam. The next thing I'm gonna do is go back over the buttonholes uh, with a hand buttonhole stitch just to uh, neaten them up a little bit and to really uh, highlight the orange because I really like the way it pops on the outside. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a like. I hope it has been helpful. Uh, if you have not already subscribed, I would very much appreciate it if you did. I have a couple of new videos coming up in the near future. The first one being a tour of the cleaning rearranging of my sewing space. And the second one, I'm going to be unboxing a vintage serger that I uh, am going to be practicing with. So if either of those videos sound interesting, make sure you check back within the next few weeks. They're going to be up. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the future.